we are going to draw the Lewis structure for hydrogen peroxide H2O2. Now the first thing to note is that hydrogen, even though it's on the left side of the periodic table, counts as a non-metal. It's the only non-metal to the left of the staircase. See the darkened staircase here? Oxygen is definitely a non-metal because it's in the non-metal section to the right of the staircase. The fact that they're both non-metals means that it will form a molecular or covalent compound, which means that they will share electrons with each other until they each have a full outer shell. Now, to start with, oxygen is in group 16, so it brings six valence electrons each. Now I'm gonna draw an O with one, two, three, four, five, six valence electrons, and I need two of these oxygens, so I'm going to put another one somewhere else. One, two, three, four, five, six valence electrons. Okay, now hydrogen is in group one, so it brings one valence electron with it. I'm going to draw an H with one valence electron, and on the other side, another H with another valence electron. The elements that can hold the most bonds, and generally this column will hold one bond each, these atoms generally make about two bonds each, etc, etc. Hydrogen can only handle one bond. The atoms that can handle more bonds or have a higher bond capacity go in the center. Oxygen likes to have two bonds, therefore I put them in the center instead of the H's, which can only handle one bond each. Now, the way that covalent bonding works is with a sharing of electrons. So, oxygen brings six with it and wants eight total. That's the octet rule. So what happens is that hydrogen and oxygen, these two electrons combine and become shared. So they count towards both the oxygen and the hydrogen. Now I can do the same thing here on the other side with that hydrogen. And by the way, hydrogen only needs two electrons to be happy. It follows the doublet rule, not the octet rule. It only needs two electrons to be happy. Now each of these oxygens has seven electrons. I know, it brought six, but now these two count as shared. So this is now oxygen's seventh and this is also hydrogen's second. So both of these oxygens have seven valence electrons, and if I pair up these two unpaired electrons, now each of these oxygens has eight. Now what I'm gonna do is redraw this for you. I'm gonna draw my oxygen, and it has two electrons shared with hydrogen. So I'll put two dots there with the hydrogen, done. Now. It has four electrons on its own, one, two, three, four, and two electrons shared with the next oxygen here. Okay, now that oxygen has four electrons on its own and two electrons shared with the hydrogen. There we go. This counts as a good Lewis structure, although I prefer it when single and double and triple bonds are represented with horizontal lines, H, O, single bond O, single bond H. Now this doesn't accurately show the geometry here, you'd need to do something called Vesper for that, but this is the completed Lewis structure. Congratulations, you finished it. Best of luck.